You know, one of, one of the things that is, is so pervasive in our society is this idea that we have to have, you know, kick, take your religious self. You can be religious if you want, but kind of keep that, keep that on the weekend. That's, that's what you do on the weekend. Mm-hmm. And, and, and what the, that, that kind of, may, maybe that we call that church theology versus kingdom theology. You go, you go on the weekend. But what God wants is us to embrace the kingdom, the fullness, because he came not just that we would be able to, you know, do good and get our family at church on Sunday morning, but that we would take his Holy Spirit to work. We would take it to school. We would take it to every aspect of life and say, okay, how do you want us to advance your kingdom? As an ambassador, literally, as a son of the king, as a daughter of the king, as an ambassador for Christ, how do I take your kingdom and how do I advance it on this earth? What are you calling me to do? You know, for every single one of us, our highest need ultimately is to make a difference in the world. Every, every human is built with this desire to make a difference. And you make a difference in the world by making a difference in somebody's life. Exactly right. It's all about people. You know, Jesus said, love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. That's the purpose of life. It's one of the things we talk about, the, the purpose that all of us have. You know, at the end of your life, it's a little morbid to think about, but when you're at the end of the life and, and maybe if you were to see a, a, your funeral, you know, they're not talking about all the money you made. They're, they're, they're not talking about all the things you invented. They're talking about the lives that you impacted. And, and that's when we realize that the kingdom is about the lives that we impact and how we make a difference in the world. 